Hello and welcome to The View from the EBRD. My name is Stephanie Linhart and I'm here with Georgi Karagitze, Governor of the National Bank of Georgia. Mr. Karagitze, the EBRD, the European Bank for Central for Reconstruction and Development, has its annual event this year in Georgia. How would you describe the cooperation between you and the EBRD? Um, European Bank for Re Reconstruction and Development uh, is one of the most strategic partners for this country, uh, for the banking system, for the uh, country as a whole. We have been cooperating for many years now. Uh, actually, EBRD is one of the largest investors in the country, and I think that our cooperation uh, is uh, the best it can be. It's very important for our country. In many cases, EBRD comes as an anchor investor in the country, and it's, uh, it has additional confidence to other private sectors and basically helps us a lot in the uh, transition to the final stage of market economy. The EBRD, is, as far as I know, also did the first Larry-denominated bond issue um, for an international organization last year. Has there been any other interest in such issues? Um, definitely, uh, despite the fact that Georgian economy has a very strong fundamentals and uh, we score quite well in many areas fighting corruption, low taxes, liberal environment, so on and so on, dollarization of the economy is our biggest macroeconomic challenge. Uh, our dollarization rate right now is above 60 percent, so in this regard, uh, issuance of the first large denominated bonds is a, was a big success and big event. It's again, uh, it's not only about the issuance itself, but it's cleaned the way for the regulations, laws, uh, and different acts that uh, now other investors can easily uh, do the same. Basically, it was kind of pioneering the, uh, this uh, way, and of course, it had uh, a tremendous effect because that's the only way that uh, we can pursue this very hard and challenging way of uh, the dollarization. And of course, uh, interest is there. What other ways have you tried to pursue to help um, promote the dollarization? Usually, uh, the dollarization of the country cannot be achieved in one, two, or three years. And some of the most successful examples would be Israel, Chile, Poland. It took decades uh, of uh, sustained, uh, consistent policies. In our case, we are on the primary stage. Uh, even though for the last two years we do have the uh, results, uh, the, the dollarization decreased by more than 10% in the last two years. What we are doing is we, we want to make the um, uh, LARI local currency uh, loans as available as possible. We are increasing the collateral base. Uh, we are trying to uh, provide all the market incentives possible that uh, companies can borrow in local currency, that individuals can borrow in local currency. Uh, but again, we are not uh, in favor of any administrative actions, any prohibitions, and uh, anything that prevents or distorts, distorts the market. So in this regard, again, it's very hard to overvalue the importance of, uh, of, the, Larry, uh, of the local currency bonds that EBRD issued, and now other companies are al already in the pipeline. Very good. Well, obviously, we also have to mention the uh, Larry itself. Um, there has been a um, devaluation of about 30% since the 2011-2013 um, values. Um, how would you describe the situation currently? Uh, again, despite the fact that our economic fundamentals are uh, quite strong, uh, Georgia is a small open economy, and we are uh, greatly influenced by, the, uh, by what's happening in the region, in the world, and the uh, situation uh, in, uh, in this region in particular is quite challenging and turbulent. Uh, therefore, we received uh, severe uh, external shock on our um, current account balance. As a result, Larry has, uh, there was pressure for the devaluation. And because Georgia has a floating exchange rate regime, of course, Larry has devalued, and now the adjustment is taking place. Um, it's uh, at the same time, uh, inflation is under control, and our banking system is very resilient and well capitalized. However, it creates a pressure for those people who have loans in uh, foreign currency, and their revenues are in uh, 
larry therefore basically the debt burden has been increased but so far i think we are coping with this process um, quite well and uh, all the international organizations our partners like international monetary fund uh, international monetary fund world bank ebrd they all praised the policies that we conduct so so far at, at the end of the day of course the solution to this kind of problem is increased inflows in the country increased export increased uh, tourism revenue tourism revenues and other sources that will get this country to the next level of development what would you say um uh, is the outlook for the economy in that case. Um, last year we've had 4.8% growth uh, of GDP. What's your near-term and long-term outlook? Uh, in the near term, we are talking to the. We, we are uh, looking at the uh, still growth. It's relatively low growth. It will be somewhere from two to four percent. Um, in a relatively long-term period, uh, we are much more optimistic. Uh, you know that this year we have signed the association agreement with the EU, which opens up a huge market for, for Georgian producers and exporters, and also it's a very, very, uh, very nice opportunity for the international investors to use this agreement, uh, which will be followed by free trade agreement with, with the EU, basically to invest in the country and uh, um, to increase our export potential. Um, uh, therefore, again, the, the times are quite hard and challenging, but we are very optimistic.